New at 6 tonight, some students, well, students are, of course, the most vulnerable people when it comes to an active shooter situation, but schools here at home tell us they're prepared to deal with a worst-case scenario. Today, we checked with the Columbia School District and local law enforcement to see how they're keeping children safe. ABC 17's Dan Messinio joins us now. Dan, officials say their students actually go through a lot of training. Yeah, they do, Marissa. When an active shooter goes into a school, there's not much time to think. And Columbia Public Schools puts their students through multiple drills a year, so if the worst were to happen, students would know exactly what to do. In the past, students in grade school and high school spent a day or two every year practicing how to get to safety during a fire or tornado. But now in 2015, students go through the paces of how to survive an active shooter. It's so important that we um, do a lot of training for our um, students and our staff so that they don't even have to think about what to do. They just know exactly what needs to happen. The FBI reports 24 school shootings between 2000 and 2013. In elementary through high school, 52 students died. Local authorities are teaching students how to quickly react during the life or death situation of an active shooter. One of the things that we can teach them is, is to counter what may be going on. If someone comes through the door meaning to do you harm, what can you do? Uh, can you escape through a window? Uh, can you, as a group, counter what, what that person is doing? Uh, Boone County Sergeant Lance Robbins teaches students the Alice Active Shooter Response Program. It's used by CPS and it presents students with a list of options for how to survive an attack. At the top is alert, warning as many people as possible of the shooter. And during the rapidly changing situation, students might have to lock down or barricade themselves in a room. As a last resort, they might have to counter, disrupting the shooter. And when they can, the program encourages students to evacuate and get to a safe spot. We do want our students to have a plan in their heads of what needs to happen depending on where that individual is in the school building, um, where the situation is occurring, what, what is happening in that building at that given time. The Alice Active Shooter Program was created after the Columbine shooting. It's the brainchild of a law enforcement officer whose wife was an elementary school principal.